All right, guys, we're going to do a maiden flight for this cute little guy. Going to start the props. And let's see what happens. Oh, my. And get this nice and close. My last few videos outside, I have not gotten it close enough, so I'm hoping I didn't get too close on that one. But I also want to show you how the cool this thing looks. So there we go. Oh, so I just got a good look at the lights when it was nice and close. And we can actually shut off the lights. Let's see here. Boom. I just shut off the lights. Should give us a little bit more flight time. And let's do... Oh my, that's got a nice little punch out. I didn't give it that much because it was getting up and away from me, so I let off. That's got a very similar punch out to my MGX Bugs 3. That is three cell. This is only two. But this is also very small, so keep that in mind. We are in the first flight mode. We're also in angle mode. This also has acro mode. Oh my. Oh, we got a little buddy there, a little bird. It's a hummingbird, actually. Interesting. Let's see if we can get it close and engage with it. That would be sweet. All right. This thing flies really nice. It definitely has a nice yaw to it. And when I get any kind of altitude, that hummingbird wants to come and play. See if I can bait it, see if it wants to come in and play. Obviously, I'm going to stay away from it. Do not want to hurt it in any way, shape, or form. Oh, my. This thing really flies nice, guys. I screwed up my thumb so my thumb's not feeling great, but it's not hampering my ability to fly this at all. Oh yeah, that bird is right there. I'm not I'm hoping you guys saw that one. This thing is so stable. It doesn't even have altitude hold, but it is super super stable. All right, well, we've got some uh, battery here. Let's try and do a flip. Very nice. Very good. Oh, yeah, we got some nice, nice, nice flips there. Now, keep in mind, when you do those flips, they're cool, they're fun, but they suck the battery like no business. So that's going to impact our flight time a little bit. So good thing I turned off the lights. Yeah, that hummingbird is not liking this thing at all. I'm liking it though. This thing's flying around great. Yeah, I'm wondering if this that hummingbird doesn't have a nest or something around here because it's getting really aggressive. So I'm going to be kind of docile. Docile, however you want to say it. All right, so this, this thing rips on the first flight mode. I'm going to stand up here. All right, so let's switch this thing. Okay, I was wrong. That last flight mode was this the high rates that's why we had such incredible yaw and nice pitch this this still is nice in the first flight mode but it's a probably more geared for beginners in this first flight mode definitely feels more forgiving still you can still fly it somewhat aggressively not bad 
I'm really liking this, guys. This handles really well. Super stable. The gyros are working wonderfully. I just like it. It just feels really responsive. So it's almost like my hobby grade radio, the way this feels in my hand, but obviously it's not. Check the link in the description for this thing to see the current price. Prices fluctuate on items like this all the time, so keep that in mind. Alright, the wind is kicking up. I'm going to turn it back into high rates here. Now this thing also has FPV. I will be testing it in another video because I wanted to make sure I did a nice full flight with this maiden flight. The line of sight maiden flight that is. It's fun doing little funnels here. Very cool. The wind is really starting to kick up on me, and this is handling it great. Yeah, if you look at that tree out there, see how that's dancing a bit? This thing flies nice and aggressive. Can't wait to fly this on FPV. It'll be nice and fun. This is really stable, yet it's got uh, it's got some power and precision, which will make it fun for FPV. Cannot wait to test that. Want to make sure I have this in nice and close. Kind of mix up the long range footage and the short range stuff. This thing really has power, guys. That was maybe 60-70% throttle. And it just ripped. Hard part is always getting it down nice and smooth. Coming down is always something that you need to be cognizant of when you're flying, especially for you beginners out there. You want to be very gentle, never just cut the throttle. That is unless you think you're going to crash. But that's a whole nother talk show. Yeah guys, this is awesome. Man, this flies great, guys. And the flight time is ridiculous. Look at this. Still have a good punch. I gave that maybe 50%. Handles nice and smooth. Of course, I haven't crashed this. This does come with prop guards, but I really don't like flying with those if I don't have to. And if I were to crash this, I would just buy another one, really. The price point's pretty, pretty darn generous. I'm hoping you guys are seeing that hummingbird. It's just ripping right after it.
I'm really shocked at how well this thing flies, guys, and for how long it flies. I'm sure I've chopped up some of this when I've said stupid things. Oh, low voltage right there. So that lets us know when we need to land this, when we're getting low on power. Step back, make sure we get that in the shot. Boom. Nice and easy to land. Perfect. Let me shut off the motors. Do the long press to shut that down. All right, the beeping is still going. Like, comment, and subscribe, and GB Linden 